Well, welcome to uh, another episode of uh, Throwback Thursday in the Breeze Way. And tonight, it's uh, your turn to fire up an old... Uh, yeah, we're going to do uh, Elvis Owens. That's who he was born, but uh, they called him Buck. He was named after a uh, mule on the farm. But Buck Owens. Is that right? Yeah. Something I didn't know. Elvis with an A. Not like Uncle Uncle Burn and Love Elvis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So he's a big influence in your uh, Yeah, daughter. I liked him a lot. Uh, you know, Dad had records of him, and uh, my Uncle Brownie was a big fan. He used to, every time Buck had a new record, he'd come home with it, and he didn't matter if it was 4 o'clock in the morning, he'd crank it up, and my mom and her sisters and my, my grandparents would all get up, and they wouldn't be mad at him. Matter of fact, they, they looked forward to it, and they would all dance around the living room there in Baylor Road, and he knew Buck Holmes that Brownie brought home. So the good days, you know, the good old days. I hear you. Back when you go buy a record, it was actually all ten songs were good. So we'll do a little bit of. Oh, I got this one on my new CD. A matter of fact, it's called Under the Influence. She knew I knew that she was out to get me. I just closed my eyes and let it be. Now she walks by me like she. same bell and uh, Buck was always closing and uh, George said to him one night he says how come I can't close you know let me close tonight Buck and Buck said no no I'm the star George I got all the hits and that's the way it is so George went out and got drunked up went out and did a show and he, but he did Buck's full show you know every song Buck ever did and then he walks off stage and Buck was standing there behind the curtain and George just winked at him and said your turn Buck, Buck never forgave him for years for that one. I bet he wouldn't. Yeah, the crowd was sitting there listening to the same songs as just heard, and I was like, playing clock. Excuse me, I think I've got a party. There's an egg in deep inside, and it just won't be tonight. Excuse me, I think I've got a party. And I'd better say goodbye. Yes, I'd better say goodbye before I cry. There's a song, there's a story behind that song too. I forget who it was, and uh, they were drinking all night, and uh, somebody's wife had left or something. They broke up, and uh, five, six in the morning, they were drinking. One tripped over the other one. He says, "Excuse me, I think I've got a heartache." So and then they wrote that song. Okay. Yeah. I've heard your other version. Yeah, the other version is uh, very interesting. It's, it should be it'd be great for a Viagra commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Never thought of that. Um, and this episode is brought to you by Viagra. Um, <laughs> the quicker picker upper. <laughs> well tonight's beer again is brought to you by Freddie Warner. Come on in, Fred. Oh. Oh, 
He doesn't start this early. No, Fred not here till seven. Oh, that's the way it is. It's in his contract. And you? I drink in water. Yes. Healthy. Adam's ale. Throw one down. Second set. I'll play second set. The year near love while it lasts. It's like all the others I played for in the past. Why can't I be a leader? Play your lady part. Why must I?
That's all the time we got for this week on our Throwback Thursday. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, till next week. Keep your beer on ice and your sticks handy for poking toes. Uh, we're back with the toes, buddy. <laughs>